Hello and welcome to another episode of SMH, Solving, Solving the, the Mysteries, Mysteries of History. Hello and welcome to SMH. Today we're talking about being a citizen. You may think being a citizen means less rights, but there's something to protect you called the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights protects things such as religion, speech, and press. That explains the diversity in America. Although it may sound awesome, you still have responsibilities. Those responsibilities are taxes, voting, staying informed, and more. By following these rules, you are being a fellow citizen. Now here's Anna with participation. Thank you, Izzy. Now, let's, let's start with the basics. Democratization is an increase in democracy, which gives all power to citizens, including the basic rights of life, liberty, and security, which the UN declares and protects. All citizens also have to participate in activities of civic participation, which includes speaking at a town meeting, voting, and other activities. And now for the 10 second trivia. What's a type of responsibility for a citizen? A, clean your room. B, vote for president. C, do two times seven. D, fail in school. The correct answer is B, vote for, vote for president. Thanks, Anna. So we've talked about the rights and responsibilities of being a citizen. Now let's talk about how to become a citizen. To become a citizen, you have to go through a process called nationalization and meet some requirements. You have to be at least 18 years old and have a permanent resident for at least five years. Also, you have to be able to speak, write, and read English. But some requirements are sometimes relaxed for elderly. Well, that sums up the basics of how to become a citizen. Now to you, Jalen. Thank you, Lily. So today we have talked about being a citizen, the responsibilities of being a citizen, and how to become a citizen. Now let's talk a little bit about how they're all connected. But before we do that, five second trivia. What do you do when you are a citizen to help you or your country? A, vote. B, move place to place. C, learn new languages, or D, adopt a turtle or a cat. The answer is A, to vote. When you vote, you are helping your country, and this helps you to be a good citizen. Now let's talk about citizenship some more. So the question is, what makes you a citizen? Well, you are a citizen if you are born in that country or abroad in that country. Now have you learned something? Well, I hope you have learned something. Bye, and I'll see you next time on another episode of SMH, Solving the Mysteries of History.